Shanti motherfucking boyfriend ain't lying, nigga. Y'all was over there because you told me the time y'all was over there cooking out and all this shit. And I told you from day one, I ain't like her. I ain't trusting her. She a lying motherfucker. But I got her school. Oh, I do know who she is. I do know her play in this now. Oh, yeah. I do know that. And talking shit behind my back about my, my wife and talk about baby girl 97 that y'all posted that was in January 2016. This would let me let me explain to y'all a little bit why I got everybody's attention about this baby girl 97. I'm almost hundred percent sure. I know it was Timon what being a part of it, but it's Sean T2. So let's say they collaborated, right? Allegedly. They uh, they, they collaborated. They did it. Let me tell y'all about this. They contacted us in January. Right? But let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. They 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 did this in January and put that out. But what they didn't tell you is they disrespected my daughter on her IG first with that same IG tag, baby girl 97. So you tell me as a parent, any of y'all, who the fuck is you gonna listen to after they put out their your daughter in so many different disrespectful ways on her page and then go back and then DM your daughter and say, oh, I'm, I'm here to help y'all. I want to tell y'all what's going on. <laughs> and these people crazy. Yeah. 
actually developed a professional relationship with R. Kelly over the next few months, even pitching various business deals, all of which he rejected. I don't know nothing about Asante, but I know everything she's saying about me and her, baby, that's a lie. <laughs> and that's defamation of character, so I'm finna get right 2020. I'm finna get left, I'm finna get right, honey. So keep saying, man, thank you! Thank you!